Last year we had a wonderful series. We had two All-Ireland semi-finals that were tremendous. Then we had an All-Ireland final with Cocking Down, which was tremendous games. Then we you look at our Allianz League this year. All four divisions were evenly contested. Great results, big crowds. And uh, politically, I think the, the, the Dublin, the whole games played in Crow Park early in the season for Dublin, Dublin's home games. So I think it all goes well for our championship going forward. The determination is there from all counties. They all want to win, Sam. And I believe we'll have a very good All-Ireland series. Now we, we would have felt you know the league was a great benefit to us. You know we played eight matches in the league, only managed to lose one by a point. I think we're in a good position heading into the summer. A lot of new lads were tried and during the league, I think 30 lads were maybe tried in, and a lot of lads were tried in different positions as well, which was good. So now we're out June Bank Holiday weekend against the winners of Leash and Longford, and whoever comes through that, you know it's going to be a tough game. Well, with our man, the first round of the championship in about three weeks' time, and although. 2010 was a good run and uh, was enjoyable but we didn't polish it off with any silverware so that has to be our aim in 2011 silverware but we're not taking our eye off our man the first round of the championship in three weeks time um, We're still waiting on a couple of last key boys to come back from injury um, obviously Michael Meehan is the biggest one for us um, he's been out for close to two years now you know so we need to get him back and try and get him match sharp for, for some sort of part in the championship so I was a part of successful under 21 teams and um, you know, a good few of us are in the panel now and we kind of made the starting team and the more that you have the better because they're hungry, they're looking at the younger fellas coming in are looking at fellas winning all our medals and they want that themselves and I think it's, it can only be good for Cork and I think Cork is in a good state, healthy state in terms of football at the moment and um, you know, I think the way the panels have been cut to 26 this year in the Championship has, uh, has made the competition even that more fierce and um, you know, fellas will have their work cut out to make the 26 panel and you know, that's a goal if it is alone to make the panel and you know, that's a good thing to have to be honest. The first game is, is Mayo away on the 26th of June, so that's a, that's our focus. The minute trying to get fit for that, and like why we've never got too fit for the league. Like we've 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 had a good. We knew we knew we'd have 10 or 11 weeks break between league and championship, so that's we're in the middle of a hard set season out at the minute. You know. Oh, down in Armagh would be the, would have a good friendly rivalry. You know, that would be our biggest rivals on the border between us and Armagh. But it was just uh, they would know about uh, much about us as we would about them and Paddy Rourke is at the helm there so it makes it more a bit spicy and a bit more interesting. Championship football has improved a lot I think in the last couple of years you've seen the likes of Kildare and Mead get to the latter stages of the All-Ireland series so I don't think there's as many easy games as there was in previous years so um, you know both teams did well in their national leagues so we'd expect you know a tough game no matter who we play really. I mean, we've last culminated so far this year he's a big last for a panel through um through cruciate injury. I mean, we lost Derek Cavanagh to a hip injury. He had to force an early retirement and um, show their big losses. And as I said, the competition's there. If you get injured, like you're really looking over your shoulder then. So, you know what I mean? I think the, the pace of the game has gone up and the amount of training guys are doing, you know, putting in themselves and collective training, that probably adds to it as well. Like, So you're probably more open to injury. Well, our aim at the start of the year was to uh, retain the status in Division 1 and, and we've done that maybe with a, a game or so on hand which was, was good for us but also with the disappointment of maybe not making the Division 1 final but uh, we've come along, we've, we're motoring along nicely but a few injuries here and there but a few niggles and we've got them cleared up, we're shaping up nicely. We had a very good run last year in the back door, you know, we had good wins over the likes of Loud, Armagh, Tyrone and just came up short against Cork but uh, the more, most encouraging thing was that we were you know, very close to Cork and competitive with them in the Ireland semi-final because the previous couple of years we'd lost to Tyrone and Kerry and we'd got well beat both days. So, you know, shows that we're not that far off and I think that gives you a bit of confidence going into the summer.